your welcome to this amazing amazing uh prophetic night Amen. i'm joined by the great prophet joel and uh it's going to be such a fantastic time in the presence of god thank you lord jesus now listen to me children of god me and and, uh, and the prophet are going to be speaking to you about spirituality and garments Amen. Amen. Yes. what is the significance of clothes yep spiritually Amen. Uh, i tell you this is going to shock you and <laughs> i believe that it's going to elevate you to where god wants you to be yes. Amen. but there is something that i need you to do i need you to share this right now and share this as many times as you can mm. youtube i need to see those thumbs up as many thumbs up as possible yeah. as many thumbs up as possible and then i will begin but i need to see those thumbs up because if we don't see those thumbs up I will not be moved to actually start going. So I need you to send those thumbs up. I need to see those thumbs up as many times as possible because what we are going to speak about Life is going to be too much. Amen. I don't know if you have something to say, Prophet, before we begin. That will be life transformation. Mm -hmm. God is going to move mightily. Uh -huh. When we talk about the government, we are talking about the passing of the anointing, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. the passing of the prophetic destiny. Mm -hmm. So we are charged. Ah, it's too much. You see, you, you just hyped me up. <laughs> the passing of the anointing. The pa I'm like, you, is, you know, I'm sorry, Prophet. You, you speak like you look. Is it? <laughs> you know, some of us, we speak. <laughs> You know, some of us, we, we might look and not speak the way we look, but you, you your voice, everything is matching everything. This can only be God. So shall it be. <laughs> it's too much. I'm excited about it, and I'm excited about it. And please share this. If you have shared, say, Prophet, I have shared, and we'll begin. Yes, Lord. Now, I want us just, I want to generalize something mm. as we're beginning. I want you to understand something. Every single mm. religious group is identified by their garment. Mm. Mm. Wow. That's, powerful. That's powerful. Every spiritual sect in the world is identified by their outfits. Wow. Mm. Amen. If you go to the monks of Tibet, there's a way they dress. Yes. If you go to the Hindus, there's a way they dress. Yes. If you go to the Muslims, there is a way they dress. Wow. Yeah. Right. If you go to Jehovah's Witness, there's a way they dress. That's right. That's right. It does not matter what sect, even secret societies, mm -hmm. they have garments that they have to wear to gather together. Mm. Yes. Witches and wizards have garments they wear. Mm that allows them to meet together. Mm. Angels in heaven have garments mm. that connects them to their ranking and where they are. Wow, wow, wow. Even God himself has a garment that identifies him as God. Powerful. Amen. Wow. Wow. I, I want somebody to understand. We're about to go somewhere very <laughs> dangerous. Mm. So I want you to comprehend mm. that there is a big significance mm. There is a big significance mm -hmm. between garments yep. and spirituality. Mm. Do you understand that even how you dress is prophetic? Mm. Mm. Every day you dress is actually prophetic. Mm. Talk to me. Talk to me. Now I'm telling you the truth. Mm. There are people who have prophesied just from how they they've dressed. Mm. Wow. You know that? A hundred percent. When we were doing prophetic school, mm -hmm. when we were doing prophetic school, there was a young lady that had a dream and I was interpreting a dream. You guys remember very yes, well. Yes, yes. And I was demonstrating different ways to prophesy. Yes, but this lady came before and I was interpreting a, 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 a vision. She's actually my daughter. Mm. And I was interpreting the vision. And immediately uh, 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 while I was interpreting, I looked in the spirit and the Lord told me, uh, look at the clothes she's wearing. She was wearing color brown. And the yeah. Lord told me her name is brown. Yeah. brown. Tell her what is our clothes? He said, mm. I, I, I look and I said, I just saw a vision color brown. She said, that's my last name. Mm. Her clothes, she did not know that she was wearing her name. Mm. She didn't even notice it. Right, right. She was just wearing a garment that looks good, but she did not know it was her name. Yeah. When I went to my father's church a few months uh, ago, mm. I was ministering in that church and there was a woman that was there and I told her, the Lord is telling me that your name is on your clothes. <laughs> 
What is your name? She said, Rose. Rose. I said, what are you wearing? There was big roses on her clothes. And she said, and she just started screaming, hallelujah. Why? Because your destiny is connected, is connected to how you dress. Wow. Come on. Come Powerful. On. Powerful. Wow, wow, wow. This is good. Powerful. Jesus. Isn't it amazing when the prophetic destiny of Elijah was connected to the court? A hundred percent. A hundred percent prophet. And Elisha was prophetic enough to know that the prophetic destiny of Elijah was connected to the court. Amen. A hundred percent true. That is why he fought for it to be given to him. Mm. Mm. I hear you. Mm. I hear you. So somebody needs to understand. <laughs> somebody says, Rose, I love that prophetic video. <laughs> 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 I need somebody to understand. And you need to understand this yeah. by the spirit of God. Yeah. I need you to understand this by the spirit of God. Yes, sir. That how you look has a lot to say about where your spirit is. Oh, wow. Mm. Mm. wow, that's powerful. Let me give you an example. Yes, sir. If you go to the court mm -hmm. and the judge is wearing a t-shirt mm. and <laughs> pants, you question, you question if he's a judge, why? Even yeah. their authority to judge is not given to them if they're wearing oh. a t-shirt and a shirt. Oh. Yeah. Unless they wear the robe of a judge, yep. They have no power to judge. Oh my. That's, that's close. Praise mm. God. I feel like I'm talking uh, to myself. No, no. A judge is not a judge mm. unless they are dressed mm. like a judge. <laughs> if you meet them on the streets, they can't sentence you. Mm -hmm. yes. Even if they're in court, but they're mm. not dressed with the attire that mm. gives them authority to judge, they can't do anything. That's God. good. That's, that's good, Papa. Wow. Jesus. Somebody say, Prophet Joel's mic is low. Oh. Can we check that? Can we check that? Can we check that? Prophet Praise speaks. Let's, let's Praise speak. the Lord. Praise the Lord. Thanks Hallelujah. be to God. Is it good enough now? So. Thanks be to God. Thanks be to God. <laughs> let, me, and let me explain to you something. We haven't even gone deep yet, but we are going deep. <laughs> Amen. Capture this by the Spirit of God. Uh, Capture this by the Spirit of God. Uniform. Yes. Uniform. Mm -hmm. mm. speaks of purpose. Yes. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. The reason why a student is meant to wear uniform, it shows their purpose is learning. All right. yeah. mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. A police officer, when he wears an officer's outfit, yep. immediately it represents his ability to, 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 to implement and to enforce the law. Mm. If somebody was not wearing a uniform and says you are under arrest, you say, who are you? Mm. <laughs> Prove that you are an officer. Right. Mm -hmm. Why? Because their government does not speak of who they are and what their purpose is. Mm. Uh -huh. mm. Some of you that are watching right now, mm. you cannot fight any devil because you are naked. Go <laughs> deeper on that one. Oh Some God. of you, you cannot open doors because you are naked. You are wearing the... Okay, let me give you an example. Mm. Do you realize even doors to open is based on your dress code? Mm. An example, can you go to the beach in a suit? Oh, Everybody can't. is in a bikini, <laughs> in shorts, running and swimming in the water. Place. You you are dressed in a suit <laughs> and you're ready to surf. Uh, Everybody yeah. will look at you and say, no, something is wrong with you. Yeah. Why? Because that location mm. yeah. does not permit what you're wearing. Yeah. No. Mm. It will hinder you in actually swimming. It may even cause you to drown. Mm. My God. My it's God. It's good. My God. What shows that this is the bride mm -hmm. and this is the day of the wedding? Yep. There is an outfit that you wear that represents marriage. Yes, yes. 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 the day of celebration. Mm. And there is an outfit you can wear, it says prostitute. Mm. Sure. Everything you wear represents purpose. Mm -hmm. You see, a man of God is expected to dress decently. True. Why? Because they must be bringers of de de decency yeah. and peace. Yeah. Mm. But the problem is, if a man of God comes, mostly that looks like, like me maybe, mm -hmm. you know, Prophet Joel is, a, <laughs> is an angel from heaven. <laughs> Once in a while, me, I will dress howly. Yeah. But if you don't know by the spirit how I'm dressed, 
you may mistake me for somebody who is pretending. It's true. Mm. It's true. Mm. It's true. So somebody need to, needs to understand as I'm speaking to you. Amen. Your prophetic destiny mm. is a hundred million percent if how you dress. connected to how you dress. Mm. Jesus. True. Come on. You know when you can see the life of Paul? Yes. The Bible said that Stephan was very anointed with the power of the Holy Ghost. Yes. And the Bible said the day they killed Stephan, mm -hmm. Paul is the one who took the cloth of Stephan. Yes. And from that day, he encountered Jesus. He encountered Jesus. <laughs> so you can see much. that the cloth of Stephan was carrying the presence of uh, Jesus, Jesus in it. Yes. 100% true. So Paul was not knowing that he, he may thought that he carried the cloth, but he carried mm. Christ in the, in the cloth. Yes. And wow. that was the anointing coming up on Paul, and Paul completed the ministry of Stephan by yeah. a cloth. Yes, 100%. Jeez. By a cloth. Mm. Wow. So when you can see prophets in wow. this kind, and he's speaking in this way, Come so on. there is a lot of anointing deposited on the cloths that Amen. people can reject and put on the other side. And you remember the scripture that the Bible yes. says that Jesus will come from the mountain and the power of God will be seen, I mm. mean visibly, from the clothes. Yes, yes. Mm. And people will look to touch just the clothes and they will be healed. Mm. So there is an encounter when you enter into the presence of God, yes. whereby even the glory of God contaminates your clothes. And you duplicate the presence of God even by your dressing clothes. Mm -hmm. mm. The mighty and the glory of God get Amen. to manifest. Amen. And That's healing true. takes place. Amen. Amen. Let that? me, <coughs> the prophet, you're killing it. Please finish, finish, finish. Come on, come on, come on. Finish. Come on, flow hmm? uh, Go to the book of Genesis chapter 3, mm -hmm. Bishop. Uh -huh. Genesis chapter 3. Mm. And I want you to read from verse 21. Mm -hmm. To 22. Okay. Genesis chapter 3, can you hear me? Mm. Okay. Verse 21. Hold on, let's make sure. Can people yep. hear him? Mm -hmm. okay. Uh -huh. okay, read. Go ahead. Unto Adam also, and to his wife, did the Lord God make coats of skin mm -hmm. and clothe them. Uh -huh. And the Lord said, Behold, the man is become as one of us. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Please. Let me show you something <laughs> so that you understand what I'm trying to say here. It's about to be very dangerous. <laughs> I've just seen something. I know. I've just seen something. <laughs> I'm about to show you something. Uh -huh. Oh my goodness. <laughs> oh my goodness. Mm. Are you ready? <laughs> fly, 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 fly. I'm about to get this scripture for the. Yeah. Because this is going to help somebody understand. Are you mm -hmm. ready? Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. I want you, or oh, somebody else, Isaiah chapter 6 verse 1. Mm -hmm. oh, I, can, I can read this one. Isaiah mm -hmm. chapter 6 verse 1. Mm -hmm. okay. Now this is a vision of Isaiah. Yeah. Uh, you stay in Genesis. Okay. 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 Yes. Isaiah chapter 6 verse 1. Listen mm -hmm. to what it's saying. Amen. In the year that King Uzziah died, mm -hmm. I saw... Also, mm. the Lord sitting, sitting upon a throne, Correct. high and lifted up, mm -hmm. and his train filled the temple. Mm. The robe of God filled the temple. Yeah. Wow. So God is wearing clothes. Mm. That's right. Yet God is a spirit. Mm -hmm. God is wearing clothes, but yet is a spirit. Mm. When Adam and Eve were created, the Bible says that, and the man, this is Genesis chapter 2, and the man and the woman saw that they were naked and they were not ashamed. Yes, yes. They saw they were naked, but they were not ashamed. Mm. But when they had eaten, the Bible says their eyes were open and, and they realized. knew. Mm -hmm. mm. That not they saw, they knew yeah. they were naked. Yes. Correct. But now there is a difference between seeing you're naked and you're not ashamed and knowing you're naked mm -hmm. are two different things. Mm. Before we read this, let me explain to okay. you what, what the Lord is saying here. When Adam and Eve were created, mm. they saw nakedness, but they had no shame because they were covered. Yeah. Praise God. Ooh. Praise God. Wow. Okay. People say the glory of God, no. Mm. Mm. They were covered. Mm -hmm. What do I mean they were covered? Spiritually, yes. they were babies. Mm -hmm. 
When a baby is born, mm. a baby does not care to have clothes. Mm -hmm. You see, Adam and Eve were not created in the garden. Uh. The Bible says God planted a garden east of Eden yes, and put the man in the garden. Okay. So right. Adam and Eve were created out of the garden. Yes, mm. yes, Continue on. Mm. And they were put in the garden that God planted. Continue. Mm -hmm. And God planted a garden east of Eden and put man in it. Mm -hmm. yeah. mm -hmm. So man was put in Eden. He was not created in Eden. Wow. Mm -hmm. wow. Glory. So when man is created now, when man was created in Eden, mm. man was in the womb of God. Mm. The garden of the Lord or the garden of Eden represents the womb of God. Mm. This is where Adam was being prepared to go out and now, uh, uh, what is he called? N not only occupy, but to, to, to uh, uh, what is it? replenish, mm. to refill the earth. Yes. But he could not refill what he does not know. Mm -hmm. right. So he was in the womb of God where he was being trained and being taught before God released him. I hear it. So mm. within the confines of the garden, he did not need any clothes mm. because he was in the womb mm. of God. Mm. Hallelujah. Mm. Come on, flow. <laughs> because Adam flow. was not called to the garden, he mm. was called to the earth. earth yes. wow. okay. But the garden was the womb of God on the earth like a church is the womb of a believer that is born again. He is raised up, clothed and prepared and sent out. Mm. So he will be reporting back in the church and going out because that is his foundation. Mm. Adam was created to go in and out of the garden, yes. but he was not yet allowed to leave the garden because he was in the womb of God. Mm. So he did not matter that he was naked. Mm. But the moment that they ate the fruit, he was now, he had entered his purpose mm. before he was clothed. Mm -hmm. So he realized that he was naked. He was not prepared for the work. Wow. Uh, so the shame prevented him from standing before God. Mm. So when God comes, he says, why are you hiding? He said, because I was ashamed. Yes. Then God calls them and God passes judgment and everything. But before God said anything more, after he cursed Adam and told him, the earth is cursed for your sake. Mm -hmm. You will work the ground and you will go back to the ground which you came from. Sure. Mm. That is why Adam was sent out of the garden. If where he was created was the garden, ah. God could not kick him out. That's mm. right. He said, you will go back where I got you from. <laughs> are, are you getting <laughs> yes, what I'm saying? Yes. Watch this prophet. Watch this now. Read now from where you started. Okay. <clears throat> from where I started. And to Adam also and to his wife uh -huh. did the Lord God make coats of skin mm -hmm. and clothe them. Mm. God took ram skin and clothed them. Mm. Why did God clothe them in ram skin is the question. But before I tell you that now, keep reading and I will explain something to you. Okay. And the Lord God said, uh -huh. behold, the man has become as one of us. God said he has become like one of us because he's putting on clothes first. Ooh. God Flo. could not say he's like one of us before he had clothes. Flo. Knowing good and evil was not enough. Hey. Uh. Why did God make them clothes from ram skin? Mm -hmm. If you do studies, it tells you that God mm -hmm. made them skin the from skin ram. ram. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That's right. What is a ram is the question. A ram is a male sheep. Uh -huh. mm. And sheep represents Jesus. Correct. Because Jesus is the Lamb of God. Yeah. And a sheep represents truth. So God clothed them with garments that will allow them to begin to walk in truth. Ooh. That will lead them back into the garden. Jesus. <laughs> Somebody didn't catch what Hallelujah. I just told you. <laughs> I you feel know, like I'm talking to myself. You know what you say? I saw it. I saw the same thing. <laughs> it's too much. <laughs> so the garment that they were given skin to cover them. Yeah. It was a prophetic symbol mm -hmm. for what Jesus was going to do. Mm -hmm. They were already turned into sheep now. Oh, yeah. mm. They are on the path of truth. They need to follow a shepherd. Because in the garden, they had no shepherd. God just came to mm. talk. The Bible says God visited them. Mm. But God did not instruct them. God commanded them, but he did not instruct them. They had no somebody to guide them every day. Yes. Wow. 
I need more people to share this because uh. we are going somewhere very deep. <laughs> I need more people to share this before I give God the prophet a word. Oh, I need God you to God share this as many times as you can. Oh. Mm. So good, Papa. Why ram skin? Why a male one? <laughs> I feel like I'm talking to myself. So the path of truth, no one can enter it until you're clothed like a sheep. Mm -hmm. In the same way, if a wolf wants to deceive a sheep, mm -hmm. the wolf wears what? Sheep, sheep clothing, clothing to pretend when they put on that garment, a sheep that does not know the master looks at them as the carrier of truth. Oh, yeah. mm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. A wolf cannot come and deceive a sheep dressed like a wolf. Mm. Wow. Mm. Mm. Teach. Oof. Prophet, please, Ooh. please flow. Ooh. So when actually I was listening to you, the spirit told me something. It's like mm -hmm. the first clothing mm -hmm. that brings the restoration into salvation mm -hmm. is the Lamb of God. Uh -huh, uh -huh. And that is the reason why to enter into spirituality, mm -hmm. your clothing matters. Mm -hmm. That's what the Bible says, they shall give us the garment of salvation mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. to stand before the throne of God. So mm -hmm. even heaven, the way you enter, mm -hmm. it matters. It matters big time. And the clothing that the Lord clothed the people, it mm -hmm. is the presence of the Lord. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So the presence of the Lord is the covering that covers people from being exposed into nakedness. Mm -hmm. The nakedness in any area, be it even, mm -hmm. you can imagine even in family nakedness, mm -hmm. you can see you can be exposed into some shame mm -hmm. because nakedness stands by shame. Mm -hmm. And when the presence of God comes into covering, yes. it exposes you into the lightness of the glory of God. Yes, yes. So even the shame drops off. Yes. So anything that can bring shame over your life, it gets to go. Yes. And the glory and the honor gets to manifest into your life. Yes. Mm. Now you can see when Jesus Christ came to Lazarus and Lazarus was in the tomb, tomb mm -hmm. for four days. Mm -hmm. And the Bible says when Jesus stood there mm -hmm. and he called Lazarus, mm -hmm. And if you check the tomb, Lazarus was down. Mm -hmm. And Jesus caused, so in another word, the word of Jesus lifted Lazarus mm -hmm. from in the hair mm -hmm. and brought him out. Mm -hmm. And the first things, you can see that how can somebody come out and you are clothed Clot. with yeah. clothes? Yes. So you can see even death needs you to be covered with clothes. Uh, yes. Resurrection also needs you to be covered by clothes. Yes. Mm -hmm. In fact, prophet, mm -hmm. not, not to cut you. Mm -hmm. But the first thing that Jesus did when Lazarus mm -hmm. rose up, he yes. said, take off those clothes. Take off right, those clothes. Because right. if you keep those clothes on, he will die again. That's the thing. Uh, because what he's wearing is death. Yes. Jesus. So he has to be uncovered out of death. So mm -hmm. death has his clothes. You are too much. Life also has his clothes. A hundred percent. You are too much. <laughs> so prosperity has clothes. A hundred percent. The prophetic has clothes. Let me let me push <laughs> let, let, let me push a little deep. Yes, sir. I'm going to tell you something that is going to shock you. Mm -hmm. And somebody has to listen to me on this one. Mm. Yes, I wish somebody could hear me. Mm. Watch this. In the realm of the spirit, you're not recognized by your voice. Mm. You're not mm. even recognized by how you look. Mm. You are recognized by your garment. Jesus. Let me show you something. This is going to shock you. Mm. Go to the book of Genesis. Mm -hmm. okay. Go to the book of Genesis, verse 27. Uh, what, what book? Genesis. Genesis 27. Mm -hmm. The book of Genesis. Okay. And uh, I want you to read from verse... Verse 15. To 16. But before you read it. I actually want you just for the sake of people to understand what we are reading. Yes. Read it in NIV. NIV. Simplest and inspired version. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I want somebody to get this. Okay. Are, you, are you getting what I'm saying? Mm. Now let me explain to you. Jacob is a prophet. Mm -hmm that God is about to raise. Yes. But the father who is Isaac wanted to bless Esau who he loved the most. Wow, wow, wow. 
Jacob is old, but he's a spiritual man. True. Meaning whatever he does spiritually, he doesn't need physical eyes. Mm-hmm. Isaac says, I am about to die. I am giving you Esau an instruction. Yes, sir. Go and get me my favorite game. Go kill it. Mm. Bring it to me so that I may eat. And my soul will bless you. Mm-hmm. He told him, go and get me game. Game is not sheep, goat. Mm. But when the mother heard this, was it Rebecca or something? Yeah, Rebecca. She heard this. Mm. She told Jacob, your father is going to bless your elder brother. Mm. I am going to take a kid and I'm going to prepare it in the way that your father likes. Mm-hmm. I am going to get a goat and prepare it the way your father likes. Mm. What is a goat spiritually? You have to ask yourself that question. Mm. A goat represents the spirit of deception. Mm -hmm. A wolf represents the spirit of a devourer. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So the mother got a young goat and cooked it nicely, Mm. prepared it. But before he sent his son with the food to his father, read what it says. Then Rebecca. Mm-hmm. took the best clothes of Esau. Ah, ah what clothes did he take? The clothes of who? Esau. Yet the father cannot see. But unless Jacob wears the clothes of Esau, wow. the spirit of Esau is still not manifesting yeah. to a prophet. My wow. God. Hallelujah. <laughs> the first thing that, the, as if the father already cannot see. That's right. How will he know that this is Esau? Is that spiritually he can test and know this is Esau because I can feel his mantle. I can feel his spirit Mm. is connected to the clothes. I can tell that this is him. So the mother knowing this, she's a spiritual woman. The first thing that she does is finds the best. Mm. Not regular. (laughs) What? The The best. best. Yet the father doesn't know the best. It means that if it is the best clothes, Mm -hmm. it means they are clothes that Esau treasured. Mm -hmm. And whatever you treasure, the Bible says, wherever your heart will be, yes, there your heart will be. uh, Whatever you love, wherever your treasure will be, there your heart will also be. The word heart there is spirit. That is where your spirit will also be. Mm. So here is the mother taking the best clothes of his brother mm. where the spirit of the father brother actually lays in. Ooh. He tells him, listen, put on these clothes. Mm. He put on the clothes. And then what happens? It says, uh, Rebecca, Rebecca took the best clothes of Esau, her older son, which she had in the house, mm-hmm. and put them on her younger son, Jacob. Wow. Mm-hmm. She also covered his hands and the smooth parts of his neck mm. with the goat skin. Aha. Mm. Why did she add the goat skin? It was a camouflage. Mm. Because goats represent deception. Because they are not really obedient. They cannot really yeah. be led. Yeah. They are sneaky. Yeah. Mm. Meaning, uh, you know, people say these spirit animal things. Yeah. But in reality, Jacob was... A goat. He was mm. not a sheep yet. Mm. He was crooked. Wow. Okay. He was wow. called a supplanter. Yeah. Wow. He was a goat. Wow. So, but the mother puts the skin of the goat on him, the, mm. the hairs, so that he can go to his father. When he got to his father, his father said, is it you, my son? He said, yes, it is me. The father said, it sounds like Jacob, mm. but I can feel Esau. Mm. The father was actually confused. He says, The voice is the of voice Jacob. Is of Jacob yes. But the presence is of, is of Esau. Esau. What was he feeling? The garment. The garment. Ah. Because he had not touched him yet. Yes. Then he said to confirm, Come close, my son, so yes. that I may kiss you and touch you. Yes, sir. Then when his son got close, the first thing that the father did is he touched what? The, the neck, neck. Yes. and the hands. Yes. Mm-hmm. He felt the goat skin. True. The father could not discern. Because what? The goat skin represents what? Deception. Mm. Mm. Even the prophet could not discern because he felt the spirit of the person. Mm. 
but the voice is of a different person. And this is a father that knows his children, but at that time, it was the prophet, not the father. Mm. Mm. That even when the mother gave him goat soup, he could not tell that it was the game that he loves. Uh. Because he was fed deception. Wow. That his father opened up his spirit and blessed him. Wow. Mm -hmm. And the blessing remained. Why did the blessing remain? Because the person was wearing the right garment to receive the blessing. Uh. Heaven recognized Jacob wow. because of Esau's clothes. You can be the right person for the blessing, but somebody else can take the blessing before you. Mm. <laughs> uh, when people say the blessing has your name on it, it's a lie. God, uh, ba, 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 ba. Have you ever gone to a graduation in shorts? <laughs> You'll be no. rebuked. You'll be rebuked. It's like uh, there is a way you dress for graduation. Mm. Mm. There's a way you dress to get your diploma. There is a spiritual activation that needs to happen spiritually mm -hmm. for God to recognize you. Mm. Wow. So Jacob is entering into something that belonged to his brother. And when his father had blessed him, when Esau came, his father said, is it really you? He said, it is me. He said, I gave your brother everything. Mm. He said, father, what about me? He said, listen, I gave him everything. Yeah. Wow. Why couldn't he stop himself? Because the garment... Wow. Mm. Attracted the blessing. Mm. Attracted the blessing, the blessing and the blessing remained. Mm. Wow. The question I'm asking you, what are you clothed in? Mm. You see, when we say covering, people don't understand the word covering means clothes. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. Mm. The prophet said something interesting. He said, mm. there is even a prophetic garment. Absolutely true. Jacob, Jacob in his old age, Jacob in his old age mm. made clothes for his son, mm. the youngest son at that time, mm. called Joseph. Joseph. The moment Joseph wore those clothes, that was it. Joseph's <laughs> destiny was unlocked. Wow. Yes. People began to hate him even more. <laughs> the prophetic was unlocked even more. Yeah. Why? Because of the colored. Wow. Many color coats. What does many color coats mm. mean? What does many colors mean? Colors represents nations spiritually. Mm. 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 So Joseph's destiny was to many nations. Uh. His ministry and what God gave him was to affect many nations. Mm -hmm. So by the time he went into Egypt and he became the prime minister of Egypt, mm -hmm. all nations were coming to buy grains from Egypt. And guess who was deciding what you get? Wow. Joseph. 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 Wow. I feel like I'm talking to myself. No, no, no. Even wow. though he was prophesying man of God, yes, until he received the garment, nobody Ooh. was trying to kill him. The moment he wore it, they wanted to sell him. Yes. Wow. Mm. So the territory respects you based on the cloth that has been given to you. A hundred percent. Say that again, prophet. That is deep. Territory respects yes. you based on the clothes that you are wearing and given to you. Mm. Yes. Wow. Wow. Isn't it amazing, prophet? Yes. That a cloth can receive and keep the anointing than human beings. A hundred percent. The Bible says that people brought cloth mm -hmm. and handkerchief. To, to touch the skin of Paul. Yes. And they will apply it to the sick people and, and they will get will come out. Mm -hmm. Without the clothes, the clothes doesn't have the ability to say in the name they of Jesus. They are not saying the name of Jesus. The clothes can't say in the name of Jesus but can deliver. So people. this means in <laughs> <laughs> you are deep. <laughs> this <laughs> rewind please. <laughs> please uh, rewind. We are begging you rewind. <laughs> it's this, too much. This means in every clothes there is a path and there is a room for spirituality to dwell there. Uh -huh. yeah. Aid and evil spirits or a powerful anointing of the Holy Ghost can dwell into a clothes. Yes. And the clothes touched an anointed man of God. Mm -hmm. That anointing of that man of God is vo vocal. Yeah. It speaks. Yeah, yeah. It speaks. It speaks. Mm -hmm. So when that clothes come near to a possessed man, 
Yes. The cloth is not speaking the voice of the man of God that touched it. Mm -hmm. mm. And the demon is not respecting the cloth, but is respecting the attachment yes. that was attached with the prophet of the living God. Wow. wow. It's too much. It's too deep. So every time they would go and put it on the sick people, it was Paul's spirit in the cloth. Yes. Mm. Casting out demons. Remember yes. they say, Paul we know. Yeah. Jesus we know, but who, who are you? Uh, they, are so, no, they are no yeah. garments. So the room in the clothes captured the anointing of Paul. <laughs> Hold on, man of God. I just have to throw something in there. <laughs> so the, the handkerchief yes. could cast out de devils. Yes, sir. But the sons of Sceva, who Sceva was a, was a priest. People don't know that Sceva was a pastor. <laughs> and the sons of Sceva were actually ministers of God unto their father. I'm telling you. But demons could not respect them, but demons could re respect the cloth of... The cloth of Paul. Touch. Wow. Touch, my God. Is this, is this why somebody can rebuke in the name of Jesus, nothing is happening? Nothing is happening. Because they are not clothed. <laughs> <laughs> somebody didn't catch it. <laughs> You're blowing this. Is <laughs> <laughs> they are not clothed. <laughs> Who is covering you? My God. Wow. The disciples of Jesus could cast out devils because Jesus sent them. Yeah. They sent out are clothed by the one who is sending them. Mm. Who has sent you? Oof. The clothing is too much. Our too prophet, you are deep. <laughs> Watch <laughs> this. Watch this. Mm. Jesus is going to pray. Mm -hmm. are, are you listening, yes. children of God? Yes. I wish more people would share this, and I need those thumbs up on YouTube. YouTube, I wish you understand the trick that you're receiving mm. right now. This is too much. Mm -hmm. I wish somebody could understand the treat that you're getting now. It's powerful. It's powerful. You see, the problem is. If you're not spiritually mature, this thing can just go over your head. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I want somebody to notice this. Is somebody ready? If you're ready, type, I am ready. 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 Watch this. Mm -hmm. Jesus goes to pray on the mountain. He's been going as usual praying in the mountain. But one day he went to pray. And it was his habit to bring his apostles with him. They will stay somewhere and he will go further to pray. Yes. But this one day, Jesus went to pray. Moses and Elijah appeared to him. Mm -hmm. The moment Moses and Elijah appeared to him, the Bible says that Jesus was transfigured. Yes, sir. His clothes changed. Yes, sir. Mm -hmm. Now you're not hearing me. Yes. Come on. Yes. Let's go. Let, let me let me let me abat and bat on my <laughs> jacket a little bit. So that somebody needs to hear this well. Somebody needs to hear this well. Amen. Mm -hmm. The moment Jesus mm -hmm. is meeting Moses and Elijah. The moment they are meeting Moses and Elijah. The moment Jesus, who is the son of God, mm. is meeting Moses and Elijah, the sign that he met Moses and Elijah was he was transfigured. Mm. The clothes that he had, they were changed. Mm. Mm. Mm -hmm. The person you meet determines how you look spiritually. Wow. Praise God. Praise God. Praise God. That the disciples were frightened. Yes, sir. Mm -hmm. They were shocked. They were completely shocked. Remember, Moses and Elijah mm -hmm. are tied into the destiny of Jesus. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Moses wrote the law. Jesus is coming to fulfill the law. Mm -hmm. Elijah came to prepare the way of the Lord, both the present and also in the end mm. before he comes back. So yeah. Elijah's spirit is responsible for Jesus' welcome on the earth. Ooh. So Moses' work cannot be complete without Elijah being present. <laughs> Yet they are from different timelines. Yeah. They have to meet Jesus because Jesus is fulfilling what they came to do. But the only way Jesus is fulfilling what they came to do oh, is his garment had to be transfigured. Ah, wow. Wow. My God. His clothes were changed that the disciples were shocked. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Some of you who are watching this right now, Carabas. I believe by the spirit of the living God 
you are going to be changed. Amen. Amen. Those who will type fire, those who will type fire, those who will type fire and shout fire yeah. three fire. times where you are at home. Fire. Something is going to shift for you. Fire. 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 Prophet, are you not amazed that the destiny of Elijah and the ministry of, of John the Baptist was connected on his blessing? Yes. And the Bible says even in his passing in the heaven, John is still dressing the same way. Yes. By the river. Yes. So the day that John the Baptist changed his clothing, that was the day that his ministry came alive. Yes. So every time that you would dress up in that clothes, he was remaining on the earth because the ministry was supposed to continue. Yes. Mm. And the day he changed the clothing way, that was the end of John the Baptist. Listen to that. Mm -hmm. Now let me let me even let me even mm -hmm. uh, let me even push what you just said yes, and clarify it even more for people who don't understand what uh -huh. you just said. Mm. When Elijah ascended to heaven, where did he go from heaven? Mm. By the river Jordan. Correct. He went across the Jordan mm -hmm. and his spirit was and he was taken up True. Mm. physically. Mm -hmm. And he threw his garment on the other side of the Jordan. True. When you read about John in the book of Matthew, he said, And John the Baptist mm. dressed exactly, exactly. Like, like, like Elijah yes. and he lived in the wilderness eating honey and locusts. Correct. Are you getting what I'm saying? Yes, yes. So when he dressed like Elijah, mm -hmm. the spirit of Elijah settled in him. Straight but up. the spirit of Elijah mm -hmm. left from the side of the Jordan. Mm -hmm. So the spirit of Elijah met him while he was in the wilderness. Remember when Elijah was ascended, the sons of the prophet said, let us send people to look for him in the wilderness. Mm -hmm. yeah. That is where John the Baptist lived. Mm -hmm. yeah. He will only come to baptize people at the Jordan. Mm -hmm. The day that he removed the clothes, and the day he, he moved from the Jordan and he went to look for Herod and said, Herod, uh, you are yeah. doing this and this yes. is the day he died. Wow. <laughs> but notice he was able to continue in his mission. In the mission mm -hmm. of Elijah. Mm. Because he dressed like him and he dressing like, like him, him kept him where Elijah's spirit was. was under the uh, covering. Under the covering. Under the protections. Wow. <laughs> I wish somebody could hear what I'm saying. Do you know even Jesus, to die on the cross, they needed to unclothe him? Yes. Wow. Uh, you, are, you are spirit. You are too uh. much. As long as he had the clothes, Jesus was never going to die. Do you know why? That's why it's always for Yes. Joseph had to come to take the clothes of Jesus with him. Yes. And even to give him a new clothes. Yes. Because prophetically, Joseph had the same spirits of the father that was called Joseph. Yes, yes. That yes. married Mary. Yes, yes, yes. So the mission had to continue until the grave yes. where Jesus was going to. Yes. And isn't it amazing when they found and the Mary and the other that came, they saw that the clothes that Jesus died, it was well packed from the down yes. and to the up. Yes. And that is signifying to us the prophetic ministry and the apostolic ministry. ministry. Yes. Functioning together for the manifestation of the church, which is Mary outside. Yes, yes. Deep. Watch this prophet. Mm -hmm. Watch this prophet. Watch I don't this. Know if we Watch this. The Bible says yes. that Jesus was a curse. You know, people have this. You know, people have seen the drawing of Jesus with an underwear. Mm. Yeah. Jesus was naked. The Bible says he was naked. Naked. Mm -hmm. He had no covering. True. He was naked. Mm -hmm. Why was he naked? Mm -hmm. Is a very important question. Yes, sir. It was not only so that he can die. It was because. He had to be undressed like ah, Adam. Adam. Ah. Mm. No, you're, you're he had to take what Adam had. True. But you have to remember, nakedness represents a curse. Uh -huh. This is why the sons of Noah, yes. when they saw that their mm. father was, was naked, naked yes. they could not go in looking at him because they would have been cursed. Yes, so they went backwards to cover him cover so that he is not cursed. Mm. Yes, but the son who saw him naked got cursed. Cursed, yes. that's right. So Jesus is on mm. the cross. Now remember, Jesus had to die. Ah, this one is deep. <laughs> Jesus had to die mm -hmm. as the king of the Jews. True. Mm. The Bible says that the robe that Jesus wore was the robe of the king. Mm -hmm. Herod is the one who put that robe on him. True. Mm. Because he had to carry the mantle that was representing the that king. he was dying for the Jews as their king. Mm. Wow. wow. So when he got there, they had to remove it so that it can be accursed so that he can die 
And somebody had to prepare funeral clothes mm -hmm. to cover him. And look at this. Why wasn't Jesus buried in his father's tomb? He had to be buried in a stranger's tomb. It's because Jesus was just visiting the grave. Mm. He didn't get it. <laughs> Powerful. <laughs> Somebody <laughs> didn't get it. <laughs> it did not matter that they put a rock there. Jesus was just visiting. Uh, <laughs> when, that the tomb was near the garden. <laughs> Prophet, we have to go. So this, is, <laughs> this is too much. This is too much. Eish. Kalabasata. Eish. Make sure Prophet's much. mic is yeah, good. Yeah, because much. because much. The, way, the way the anointing is flowing. <laughs> this is too much. Wow. Mm. <laughs> I want to explain something to somebody. Mm. And 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 uh, and we are going to get close to closing because mm. the way me and the prophet are flowing right now, I don't know. <laughs> we'll not it, finish it will either. not finish. <laughs> Do you realize there's even a garment of joy? Mm. Mm. There is a garment of praise. Mm. Wow. There's a garment of worship. Yes, sir. These are spiritual dimensions mm. that are accessed by how you are clothed. Mm. The reason some of you. I'm going to explain to you something. The reason why you see pictures of shepherds yep. carrying sheep on their neck, mm -hmm. the little ones, they will carry them on their neck. They will walk around with them in the day. They will be on their neck. Why do they do that? Mm -hmm. Is because the shepherd knows this one is too young. Mm -hmm. They may not know how to keep up with the rest. So I am going to put him on my neck mm. so that when I sweat, my sweat will go into the wool. When this sheep goes astray and wolves want to eat it, they will smell the shepherd and they will not come close to the sheep. Wow. They will believe that the shepherd is next to the sheep. Wow. They will not attempt to go close. Mm. When God was cursing Adam... Yes, he told him, by the sweat of your brow shall you eat. Mm -hmm. And you have to represent, sweat represents blood. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Some of you, you have financial difficulties because of whose sweat came on you. Some of you will never escape poverty because your father, your mother, who clothed you by their sweat is still carrying their sweat to you. Wow. They bought things in suffering. Nah, 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 nah. And when they gave you clothes, nah, yeah, yeah. they gave you the suffering. Oh, wow. nah, they yeah, yeah. covered you, but they covered you out of suffering. Ah, but God set free. Wow. Oh, I'm sending a deliverance anointing online. Mm. The shepherd wants to protect. Mm. His sheep, he had to sweat on them. Mm -hmm. That is why he can leave the 99 because no one is going to eat them. Yes. But uh -huh. these ones, they know to stay together. Uh -huh. yeah. But that one doesn't know any better. He knows he will find it because no one is going to eat it because his sweat is on it. Mm. Yes, so even if a wolf is seeing is by himself, remember, even animals don't move by sight. They move by smell. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. They will say, my eyes are seeing no shepherd, but the shepherd is around here somewhere. Guys, let's not go. Mm -hmm. Just leave that one by themselves. <laughs> <laughs> Who clothed you determines where you're going. Look at this. When the prodigal son sinned and he, and he took his property mm. and he went abroad, mm -hmm. He took his properties and went abroad. Mm -hmm. When he went abroad, he spent all the money mm -hmm. and he became poor. He started living with uh, pigs, mm -hmm. eating swine food. Yes, sir. And he remembered his father. He said, you know what, father? He said to his mind, he said, in my father's house, even the servants mm -hmm. 
are taken care better than what I am. Mm -hmm. The master who gave him a job, remember, if you're going to work with swine, there's clothes you need to wear to deal with swine. Mm -hmm. Mm. So he knew the condition he was in was tied to who he was was serving. serving. Mm. So he remembered that those who serve my father don't even look like this. Mm -hmm. They don't even eat like this. He said, I will go back to my father. Father, make me one like your servants. Mm -hmm. I don't even want anything. I want to be just like your servants. Mm -hmm. So when he was going back, his father saw him. The first thing that his father did, he kissed him. Why did he kiss him? Kiss, for somebody to embrace you, to kiss you, it means that they have loved you and they have loved you enough that you don't need to be ashamed. Mm. Mm -hmm. The second thing that the father did, the father said, bring him new clothes and the father removed his clothes. Mm -hmm. He didn't say give him a shower, even though he was with swine, because Mm. this is a spiritual thing. He said, bring him new clothes. Mm. Put new clothes on On him. him. Mm -hmm. They took and put new clothes on him. The moment they put new clothes on him, the father removed his ring and put it on him. All those years he was his son, his father never put a ring on him. Why? Because the clothes that he was told to wear, The new clothes were his father's own clothes that he had prepared for his son coming back. That when he puts on those clothes, he can now wear his father's ring in order to execute. You see, those days you did not have a Mm. signature. You signed by the family ring. He was now, his clothes authorized him to wear his father's ring. His father's authority, his father's anointing, in order to sign on behalf of his father. Mm. Who is dressing you? Who Who dressed you? Who? Who Who dressed you? Who? Who dressed you? The son who was in the house was never given a ring, yet he was faithful. Mm. So God does not elevate you spiritually because of your faithfulness to him. God elevates you by who dressed you. Mm -hmm. Ah. Talk to me. Ah. Talk to me. Somebody Uh, didn't hear what I just said. Talk to me. The faithful son did not know that what his father has was his, Mm -hmm. and nor could he execute anything on behalf of his father. Mm. I told you again, in the spiritual realm, you're not recognized by your voice. Mm-hmm. You are recognized by who yeah, dressed you. Dresses you. Mm. Who dressed you? You passed the office. Who dressed wow. you? Mm. Lot was not called by God, but because he was with Abraham who was called by God, he became rich. Mm-hmm. Wow. The day he separated from Abraham, that was it. Remember, he had so many servants. That his servants and the servants of Abraham were fighting. Yes. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Because there are too many flock that they could not stay on the same land. That's right. The moment he moved to Sodom and Gomorrah, what happened to his flock? Yeah. All you see is him and his That's wife right. and his daughters. That's right. He has no property. Mm. Wow. He has no tent. Wow. He's living in a house <laughs> inside of a city. That he has nothing to do, he has to sit outside. No servants, nothing. The moment he disconnected from who was dressing him, ah. the money vanished. The wow. prosperity vanished. Insist on that. That's powerful. That's powerful. People are not listening to this. Ah. That's powerful. God doesn't even bless you on the basis of faithfulness. Yes. God blesses you according to whom you are faithful to. Oh. That's powerful. That's ah. powerful. Mm. Let me explain to you. If you go to the book of Samuel, mm-hmm. Let's look at the book of Samuel Mm. quickly so that somebody understands what the statement I'm about to make. Mm. I want somebody to understand the statement I'm about to make. Let's go to the book of Samuel. (laughs) I wish somebody could hear me. Somebody shout fire. 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 Somebody shout fire. Fire, 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 fire. This is going to be extra delicious. Mm -hmm. This is a deep meal. Somebody say it's a deep meal. It's a deep meal. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Thank you, Lord Jesus. This is going to bless us. Amen. 
Thank you, Lord Jesus. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Samuel chapter 3, read verse, verse 1. Samuel chapter 3, read verse 1. First Samuel chapter 3, verse 1. Okay. First Samuel chapter 3, verse 1. First Samuel chapter 3, verse 1. Yes. And the child Samuel ministered unto the Lord before Eli. Say that again. And the child Samuel ministered unto the Lord before Eli. One mm. more time. And the child Samuel ministered unto the Lord before Eli. Mm -hmm. So the only way Samuel could serve God is by serving Eli. Yes. And the boy Samuel ministered unto the Lord before, before. Eli. Mm. Remember, Eli was a man God rejected. Mm -hmm. But Eli was still the connection to God. Wow. <laughs> wow. 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 Is somebody listening to me? Mm. Yeah. Uh, I always say this, and I'm going to say it one more time, for those who don't understand well. Anyone who tells you you can find God, God on your own, it's a demonic doctrine from the pit of hell. It's Oof. a proud teaching. Wow. Wow. It's a fake teaching from hell. Mm. It's a proud teaching. God always sends somebody that will lead people to God. True. There is no one who can go to God on their own. Mm. It's a lie. Mm -hmm. Why would God give apostles, prophets, teacher, evangelists, yeah. right. pastors? The benefit, the it says the for the edification of the... You yeah, the cannot body. edify yourself. It's a lie. Yeah. Ooh. Yeah, 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 yeah. Paul said, follow me as I follow who? Christ. Jesus. Yes. Right. Listen to me carefully, children of God. What does it mean to minister? To minister means to serve. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. To minister means to serve. Mm -hmm. Eli needed Samuel because Samuel was the child that could listen to him and carry out the instructions that he needed to be carried out. Mm -hmm. Is somebody listening to me? Mm -hmm. His older sons he could not control because his sons disobeyed before God and God rejected them. Mm -hmm. And God killed all of them. But Samuel was the only child that listened to his spiritual father. Mm -hmm. That he called Eli father. It means the needs that Eli had, Samuel had the ability to serve the need of their man. Mm. That's great. If he needed somebody to go somewhere, he could do it. If he needed somebody to do this, Samuel could do it. If he needed this to be done, Samuel would do it. Mm. Prophet, isn't it amazing? Yes. That where you sleep, mm -hmm. It matters with the kind of dream that can be influenced. Yes, a hundred percent. The Bible says when Samuel woke up and went to Eli, Eli sent him back to mm. another one in the same place where he was sleeping, yes. in the same position where he was sleeping. Yes. And the voice came back. Man of God, there's a deep teaching I have uh. on sleeping position. Wow. I'm going to teach it. Mm. It's a very mysterious secret. Why I say that, there is a day I slept, I was in prayers, and an angel came to visit me, but I missed it. Mm -hmm. And I woke up. Wow. And the spirit, I prayed and I prayed, the spirit told me, go and lay down to the same place, mm -hmm. you will come back. Yeah. I slept in the same place, the angel came back and delivered the message. Mm -hmm. wow. That I needed to hear. Mm -hmm. That day I woke up, I don't know who put me back in bed. Mm -hmm. I was transported, literally yeah. transported. From where you are? From where I were. To bed. That is deep. Jesus. That is extra deep. So there is a serious connectivity on what you are speaking. It's mm. too much. Mm. But also remember, mm. it is whose place are you laying? Ah. Mm. That's it's another. called covering. Whose shelter are you are in? You? Mm. 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 So understand these children of God. Mm -hmm. Wow. Prophet Elia. Mm -hmm. 
doesn't need somebody else to bring him water. Mm. <coughs> My daughter Elin is already doing that. Mm. Prophet Elia doesn't need somebody to read the Bible. Mm. Mm. My son Richard is already doing that. Mm. Prophet Elia doesn't need somebody to work in the media department. Fabian, uh, Claudius, uh, Luke, they're already doing all that. Mm. So there are already areas that people have occupied. And when we get to the church, when we were in the church, there are people who are occupying other places. True. Mm -hmm. But now we have moved mm -hmm. to a new place that we are waiting to enter. Mm -hmm. The question is now this. What are you going to serve? What mm -hmm. will be your opportunity to serve? in order to connect to the labor mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. of the man of God, mm -hmm. yes. where his sweat is. Mm. If you don't find the place where Prophet Joel is sweating, yes, mm -hmm. uh. that you can wipe his sweat, you cannot enter into the grace that he carries. Mm. Because so grace good. is only given according to assignment. So the transfer of the garment is not really connected to the clothes, but you can invoke it to your clothes based on what you do to the man of God when you do it. Wow. Mm. There are clothes that are special to me. Mm. <laughs> there is Clothes, if you look at when I prophesy, mm. there are specific clothes when I wear, I prophesy differently. Those who are, are wise will know. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Because what I was doing for God at that moment, and I have a visitation or something happens, mm. that sweat of that moment will be attached to that clothes. There are clothes that I don't like washed. Mm. Come on. Wow. <laughs> there are things that I've received from my fathers that I will never, ever, ever play with. At all. Mm. At all. At all. Mm. No, 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 not at all. You can't. You can't. There are suits that my father has given me. I will mm. never trade them. There are suits, there are shoes that have been given by the fathers that I will never, tra I can't even give them away. Sure. Even if I don't wear them, sometimes I'll just put my feet in there yes. and pray and yeah. take yeah. them off. It's because the sweat of the man mm. is already in there. Yeah. There's a bracelet that I wow. took off my father's hand yes, sir. and he looked at me and said, you, you are very clever. <laughs> Even your mother asked for this, but I did not give you. You are very bright. He took it off and gave it to me. Wow. That's powerful. Mm -hmm. You have to understand. Everyone that Jesus called, mm -hmm. the, he was not just looking for disciples. He was looking for specialists yes, sir. in the fields that he needed to minister to people. Talk to wow. Me. Talk to me. Luke was a doctor. Yes, he could I mean. confirm the miracles. Mm. <laughs> Matthew was a tax collector. He could calculate how much was coming in. Hallelujah. Mm. Because the Bible tells you that Jesus was working with a year's yeah, worth of wages. wages. Who yeah. was knowing that? Matthew, because a tax collector knows what people make per year yes. on average. Yes. <laughs> a regular person who doesn't do taxes will never know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So the IRS knows if you are getting over because they know what an average person is making. Yeah. So they can say you are in the middle class, you are in the 1%. <laughs> he needed Matthew. Wow. Wow. He needed a person who knew the marketplace, who could oh, go. In. He got Peter, who was in the, in the, he knew the town. <laughs> yeah. 
When Jesus needed to cross, they would cross with Peter. Why? Because Peter was there. He knew the lakes. He knew what was going. The sea he understood. Uh. Everything that Jesus had was strategically. Ooh. When Jesus needed to be betrayed, he hired, he brought in somebody <laughs> who, is specialist. who is a specialist in betrayal and put him there. Everyone served Glory. their purpose. Glory. Oh. Glory to God. No one was there just idle. <laughs> I want somebody to understand that. Jesus was looking for people who could play a part. Mm. Jesus knowing that he was going to die and live. His mother. He brought a young man that he loved called John. That was going to take care of his mother. Everything was strategic. He was just, you know, there are people who just like collecting sons and daughters. Mm-hmm. We don't do that. I tell you. Yeah. Mm. I tell you. It is by revelation that a son and daughter comes into you mm-hmm. because they know exactly. the part they are about to play. Yeah. Amen. You know, there are people, there is a, there's a vagabond spirit mm. that is in a lot of Christians. Today there will be son of this one. Next week there will be son of that one. Next week there will be son of that one. Next week there will be son of this one. Next week there will be son of that one. They They don't understand why they are not going anywhere. It's because they think they can cheat God without serving. That's a problem. Mm. It is not going to happen. This is what's happening in this generation. Mm. Yeah. That's a problem.